Hello, good day. This is Kent. Today I want to share with you how to highlight every fifth customers in a list. Now, for example, we have this customer name columns. It has customer one, two, three, four, five. It can be Ali, Abu, Ahmad, Abing, Agao. But what we're interested is to give a special surprise for every fifth customer. So account will entitle for the special gift. But how is it that we can highlight all those customers in the list? So one way is you can do is to highlight one by one. But the other way is use condition formatting to highlight just the every fifth of them. So customer fifth, customer ten will be. So to begin with, you will need to use some of the formulas. Now the formulas we're going to use is that the rows and the modulus. Now the rows, right, it accepts a uh, Arguments which is add to what well, it returns the row number for this active cells, which is true. That's for mood. It basically means that take this dividend and divide by these um, numbers and find out what is the remainder. Right? If there's no remainder, it will be zero. So in this case, two divide by Three will have a remainder of two, so that's why the function returns two. Now, with these informations and this, we can combine both of them to have mod uh, followed by getting the row number for that current active cell and divided by three and see what is the remainders. So from here, it will get two, but from here, it will get three. And it will get zero because three divided by three, three divided by three will have a remainder of zero. There are no remainder. So next, so we're going to highlight this range. And apply a condition formatting. We're going to use a new root, use a formula, and right here, you're going to type in equal. So, we're going to mod it. So, we begin with the row number on 2. So, we start with row and click on B2. We're going to check every columns, every row in column B the value and we're going to divide by 5 because we want to find every fifth customer and because we start at row 2 so we got to minus 1 And put an equal sign with zero. I would format it as green color. So here it says that the row start from B2 and is the row number is two. Well, two divided by five will get two and two minus one will get one. So is one equal to zero? The answer is not, so it will not be highlighted. Uh, same goes to 3, right, because uh, row number 3 divided by 5 is still equivalent to 3. 4 is still equivalent by 3, uh, by, um, by, uh, 4. 5, yep, 5 divided by 5, you get 0, with negative 1, but you minus 1, we get negative 1. So negative 1 will not be equal to 0. But it comes to the customer fifth, 
customer five, which is on the six columns, right? It would highlight this. Let's click OK. Um, Rather than mistake, row B2 by 5. Let's try again. Would Oh yeah, there's one more parenthesis. So we get a mod and then we get the remainder and then minus one because there is extra one row above and click OK. Hmm, let's see. Row B2. Five, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. It's correct. B5. You have entered too many arguments for this function. Let's see. Rows. Ah. There you are. Hmm. So my mistake is that I forgot to enclose a close parenthesis for the rows and click OK. Sure enough, right? You got every fifth customer being highlighted, and the next thing you can do is to simply filter it, and you can use the color filter by cell color, and this are, are the name. That listed as the fifth customers. Thank you for watching. Right, this is Ken Lau.